We open with a designer exploring shape compositions in a CAD system. A circle emerges during the exploration process. But this circle, the subshape, can't be recognised or modified. So the shape is imported into a shape synthesis system. This provides a freedom of reinterpretation when exploring with shapes. The designer proceeds by creating a substitution rule. This will recognise this shape and change its spatial position. The system searches for the top shape as a subshape of the design on the left. When found, it can be replaced by the lower shape. The rule is applied to each of the shapes, resulting in an overlap. Perceptually, the structure of the design has now changed. The designer may be interested in the emergent circle. If so, he defines a new rule that replaces the circle with a diamond. Now the designer's attention switches to the overlapping chevrons. Again, a new rule is defined, but the system does not recognise the chevrons under the low similarity tolerance. So the tolerance is increased so that the system can recognise the shapes perceived by the designer. Application of the rule may allow the designer to focus on the right angles. The design can now be seen to be composed of two squares that can be manipulated according to a new rule. The rule can be defined by selecting and grabbing a subshape of the design which becomes the top shape. In this rule, the small internal square is translated and increased in scale. The resulting design is composed of two squares, one over another, but it can also be perceived as two L shapes. A new rule is defined. And this rule can recognise and translate the L shapes. Four small squares emerge and one of the squares is grabbed to define a new rule. This is copied to the lower box, ready for manipulation. The precision tolerance of the manipulation tool can be modified to give the desired effect. This may seem a long-winded process of defining and applying rules. But once a designer has built up a library of rules, an automatic process of shape generation can be implemented. Shape rules formalise the shape manipulations used by designers. They can be used repeatedly, in different combinations, to simultaneously generate multiple alternative designs. An effective shape synthesis system has the potential to enable designers to quickly explore variations of their ideas.